What's up guys? Are you still using the same old Turbo C, the blue looking alien? Don't worry, let's install a new editor for you. Head over to your favorite browser and begin searching MinGW which is a famous compiler for your C and C++. So let's find you have the first link which is a official link by their own website and the own original vendor and you can also install from sourceforge.net which I'll be doing now because that's a quickest way to do it and don't worry this compiler is totally compatible with 32-bit and a 64-bit version hit download and by the time it downloads if possible try to open another window and search for visual studio code so i'll leave them in gw to get downloaded and now we'll head over to visual studio code it's a free and open source software given by microsoft and to find the system type just press windows and pause click so you get to know whether your system is 64 bit or 32 bit since mine is a 64 bit i'll head over and download the 64 bit variant You see this is open source software and it's the most popular one because it has cool features and uh, before that let's install the compiler and make sure to check all these boxes because they are necessary and uh, hit install and wait for some time this may seem a bit lengthier process but it's good because it's good for a serious software development since vs code is the most powerful editor so when i mean editor it doesn't have any inbuilt features like nothing is pre-installed so you have to do by yourself and this is why it runs on many system it's cross-platform compatible that means mac and linux can also do the same process as mentioned over and make sure to tick all those boxes now install the visual studio code and the most important thing is to check add to path checkbox without that it will be a hectic to do again now this is how your editor looks it has a cool dark theme and the toolbars towards its left settings file and many other features you can check later now head over to the extension which is towards your left side and search for c c plus plus which is officially given by microsoft install that and the next important thing is to install code runner this is most important because you can run the programs in your terminal and you can also interact with it so you before running any program let's change some settings go to your settings control press comma and search for code runner and the most important settings out of all of this is run in terminal don't forget to tick that and uh, just tick almost all those thing which have shown because they are necessary for a fully functional programming experience and that's it that's pretty much and now we can head over and uh, set some examples so uh, let me open my programming folder and you here you can see you can check the almost all the necessary details you can see the terminal you can rearrange however you want and you can see most of the code is colored 
and uh, that's what makes us more professional that's called uh, code linting and you can see it also has the intellisense feature which helps you to code faster and uh, produce less errors it also has an inbuilt debugging tool and here you can see the power of vs code and uh, don't worry if you want to run this on your turbo c again just take the file you can run again and uh, you can have to change the shortcuts if you want so head over to settings and go to keyboard shortcuts search for code runner or run code then you can edit the shortcuts I have given f2 to run the code and you can also run by the play button which is on the top right corner just hit play button then you can see as soon as you compile the code you get a dot executable file that means you cannot directly give your programs you can also share this executable file with your friends or staff then you can see it runs pretty well and you can also have an intractable terminal that means you can take user inputs it's not limited it's only limited to your imagination and to your ability this is the best editor you can find and it's moreover helpful in a series of software development you can even run python code web development you can do a lot of stuffs here you can see I have a small program which will check the eligibility for the voting or just something like that I will leave the link here of the code in the description and the other downloadable links now for some debugging reasons sometimes it's hard to set up vs code so let's see what could be the possible problem and let's solve it so hit windows path and search for environmental variables and uh, select the option which is stating path and not any other options and then hit edit then click on new and go to your osc or the where your os in install there you can find mingw then go to bin then in the search bar just copy the location of it hit new and copy paste there and that's it this is the most common error i see but it should be doing good thank you